I'm Jason Franklin. I have a 2009 G37X, uh, all-wheel drive, uh, 340 horsepower, no compromise, all-wheel drive, drive in the summer, drive in the winter, done rallycross, autocross, uh, gingerman, big tracks. It's lowered on iBox suspension. It has a modified exhaust, um, aftermarket tune, and other than that, some appearance things like a front lip and 18-inch tires and wheels. As being all-wheel drive, burnouts aren't something you typically do. Um, I was able to come up with a way to bypass the all-wheel drive system and put the car into rear-wheel drive whenever I want, allowing me to do burnouts or donuts or whatever I want for fun. Fortunately, I, I have a friend that has a tire place, Sky Tire in Sterling Heights, and he keeps me supplied with tires so that when I do all my burnouts, it doesn't cost me a fortune. In the past, I've worked individually with Corrigan Oil and Falcon Tire, um, and they also were a part of Motomac, the last rally we did, or the first rally we did. The excitement tour is all me. I thank no one but myself. Um, it's me, it's about me, it's for me. <laughs> no, um, excitement tour is something that came out of having done other rallies and uh, wanting to do things differently. So Kevin and I, who met during another rally last year, uh, talked about the idea of putting together just a small group of guys to do a quick couple weeks of planning kind of rally. And we ended up having over 30 people that signed up to do it. So we decided to keep it going and keep planning events and taking the feedback that we got from people and making the events better and um, more reflective of the feedback we were getting. And uh, each event's gotten bigger. SNOMAC was a, uh, an opportunity for us to come up with a winter event and give people an opportunity to get back together during the off season instead of taking all the winter months off to just work on your car or be bored without doing any kind of an event. Mm -hmm. And it, it went really good. We had almost 40 people participate. Um, we rented a field up in Gladwin, had a half mile track. We got everybody a hotel in Mount Pleasant and took everyone out to dinner. Um, we, we've decided that our rallies are going to be all inclusive. Instead of paying to do the rally and then paying throughout the rally to keep doing things with the rally. We'd rather just give you one price and everything's included. The next event is going to be something in the spring once the, uh, the paved tracks open up. Um, it's going to be several tracks, probably three or four, in a two-day period. Uh, it'll be called Track Mac. All of our events end in Mac. Um, that's going to be a consistent thing for all the automotive events. And Again, it'll be all-inclusive, overnight, um, fun competition for small prizes. And then in June, we're doing Rally Mac, which is going to be a rally cross type race, where we're going to go to uh, the field that we used for the Snow Mac, but it's going to be more of a two-mile track instead of a half-mile track. We're going to spend the night at a uh, water park hotel up in Houghton Lake, and then on the following day, we're going to come back and do a, similar to a poker run, but we're going to do a rummy run. And then there's also non-racing events that we are doing. We're doing a, um, uh, with Capaldi Racing in Chesterfield, we're going to be doing an open house. Okay. Um, we're trying to get a portable dyno out there. We're working on a track day at Gingerman this season. Um, we'd be sharing it with a, another student club. So sponsor-wise for the last event, we had CPR Racing, once again was with us, they make fuel systems for race cars, and Culver's Restaurant, and Valvoline Oil. In addition to <coughs> past sponsors um, that we still have relationships with, we've also developed a relationship with Auto Value Parts Stores, and they're going to be a part of the next couple of events. Since my partner Kevin, uh, who started this with me, and myself both have full-time jobs, this isn't something we did to make money. This is something we did because we love rallies, we love cars and we want to help other people who may not be able to afford the expensive rallies get into doing rallies. Mm -hmm. So if we end up with any money at the end of these rallies, we like to work with charities so that we can make donations. And we pick a local charity in any area that we go to for an event 
and we partner with them while we're there to have fundraisers and raise money. The one we just did this past weekend, we raised over $650 for the Dyer Foundation of Midland, which helps kids that can't afford school supplies. That's how you get the cops. <laughs> 